Hello friends, welcome back to another Spring Vibes series. In this video, I've got a super easy design for you. So we're going to use some pattern vinyl. The main star of the show here is this gorgeous floral pattern. This is from Glamour Tribe Vinyl. The name of the pattern is Cindy's Garden One, and it's just this really pretty, vibrant floral. So pretty. So what I'm gonna do is pair it with a stripe pattern, and I believe the stripes are from possibly Vinyl Cottage, but I've had that sheet of vinyl for probably like three years. So if I can find where that's from, I will let you know, but any stripe pattern will work. There's tons of them out there. So just find a stripe that you like and you can do this design just fine. So to start, I'm going to do a full wrap on our tumbler using the floral pattern. So I'm just gonna put my cup on the vinyl, as you see there, mark off where I need to cut the excess from, and then we can wrap the full sheet of vinyl on the cup. Now there is a portion that we're going to get rid of on the vinyl so that we can put the striped vinyl down, but this is just the easiest way for me to get all of those really clean lines, get everything placed the right way. Um, so you might lose a little bit of the vinyl, it might get a little bit wasted, but I'm gonna show you how we can maximize this sheet and make it not as wasteful. So once I've got my vinyl trimmed down again, like I said, I'm going to wrap it around my cup. So I'm going to leave a very small smidgen of tumbler down at the bottom. I'm not gonna wrap the vinyl down around the bottom rim, so I just want a really clean line at the bottom. And then I'm going to take my uh, painter's tape and tape down one edge of the vinyl. Then I'll peel up a little bit of the backing from the vinyl, cut that away, and then we can start on our wrap. I know you guys have seen me do this literally like a thousand times, but I always like to go over it because I get a lot of questions about vinyl wrapping. So. Once I've got that little sliver of the vinyl attached to my tumbler, I'm going to take my felt edge squeegee. Now this super big one is from the Bowen, but I do have a nice alternative linked in my Amazon storefront. The Bowen is currently closed, I believe. So I found this alternative extra large squeegee on Amazon and it's pretty much the same thing. So I'll link that in the description box for you if you wanna get something similar. It has literally been a total game changer for vinyl wrapping. So I use that to push the vinyl onto the tumbler. And then when I got to the end where that painter's tape was sitting, I just removed all of that painter's tape before I put the rest of my vinyl down. And then I finished up the vinyl wrap. For the seam, of course, I'm cutting my signature wavy line seam to camouflage it a little bit. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about your seam for this specific design because in the end, you're really not going to see it at all. We're going to camouflage it really well and we're going to put our striped vinyl right where that seam is. So on half the cup, you'll really have no seam at all. So now that the vinyl is placed on the tumbler, we can get rid of the excess from the top rim. So I'm just going to very carefully pull that vinyl as tightly as I can over the top rim, and then I'll take my craft knife and just trim all of that excess away, and then we'll be ready to get into applying the striped vinyl. Okay, so to apply the striped vinyl, we're going to do a little bit of math here. So I measured the width around my cup and it's about nine and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna divide that by two because what I wanna do is put the striped vinyl around half of the tumbler. So we're going to have the floral go around the whole part of the tumbler, including half of the top, if that makes sense, or the full top, I guess. And then we'll have half of the bottom cut out so that we can apply the stripes. You guys will see what I mean in just a second, but I'm trying to make it understandable so that you can do the same thing. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape down on where I think maybe half would go. And you can see I'm going on the seam side because we're gonna cut out a little bit of the vinyl and I wanna cut away from the seam versus cutting away from the full pattern because I don't wanna have two seams or two breaks in the pattern. So I'm going to measure from there about half of the nine and a quarter, so like maybe 4.6-ish inches. Now this does not have to be completely perfect because nobody is going to take a tape measure and measure your halves of your cup. All you want is for it to look, when you look at it with your eye, that it looks 
like half and half and not like you made a mistake. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to be completely exactly perfect. You just want to make sure that you're close enough so that when you look at the cup, you can say, okay, yeah, that's a half and half split. So once I've got my markings on my tumbler, I'm going to take my painter's tape and I'm going to tape them on my two sides to block out my half. I am going to measure just to make sure that my two halves are even. And once I've got my tape in place and everything is measured correctly, we're going to take another piece of tape and place that diagonally on the body of the tumbler where I want the striped vinyl to end. Okay, so now you can see we've got the section where our striped vinyl is going to go. We've got that area mapped out. So I'm going to take my craft knife and follow the inside of those tape lines to get rid of the pattern vinyl in this section. Again, I'm cutting over the seam or like the seam is in the middle of where we're cutting. You can see it right there. So essentially we're removing the vinyl seam from half of our design. And then later we can cover up the seam on the top half portion with our decal. So this really is a seamless pattern vinyl design. So once I finish cutting out this section of the floral vinyl, I'm going to remove it and then we can apply the stripe vinyl in this section. So I'm going to take that bigger piece of my scrap piece of striped vinyl here and I'm going to put it in that section that we've mapped out for it to go and then I'm going to trim it down as much as I can so that we use really the smallest piece of vinyl possible. And now because this is a stripe pattern I want to make sure that all of my lines are as straight as can be so after I trim that up I'm going to take my paper trimmer and make sure that that top line is really straight. Even though we're going to cut it later it is going to help at least it helps me Put this on straight so that our horizontal stripes don't look wonky on the tumbler. So now because we've got that little bit of white at the bottom of our cup, we can use that as essentially an extension of the stripes because you're not going to see where the vinyl ends and the cup begins once we put this under epoxy. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a smidgen of the tumbler down at the bottom the same way we did when we applied the floral pattern. And now I'm going to apply this essentially the same way. So I'm going to tape down one edge of the striped vinyl using my painter's tape, and then we will apply it to the cup using the squeegee the exact same way we did the floral, just on a smaller scale, of course. So now once we've got this vinyl applied, we're going to again follow those same tape lines that we laid down when we cut away the floral vinyl from this section. And we're going to follow those as carefully as we can to cut away all of the excess striped vinyl so that it fits perfectly within this section that we've mapped out. After you've cut away all of the striped vinyl excess, you can go through and remove all of the remaining painter's tape from your tumbler because we don't need it anymore. So once we've done that, we can take our striping vinyl and we can stripe out this striped section so everything looks really nice and polished and finished. For the striping for this section, we're going to use rose gold textured metallic vinyl from TechGrat Craft. Now I just usually cut a bunch of these at one time and I'm going to use some of the like spacing sections from when I space all of my stripes out. I usually like to highlight them all and then space them all evenly so that I get essentially double the stripes that I'm cutting out. So I'm going to use the thicker stripes for the sides of our striping and then I'll use a thinner one for the top. Of course, if you want to, you can use all the same size. It really doesn't matter. I just really wanted to maximize the stripes that I had already cut out.
Okay, so here's what the cup looks like so far. I am loving it. And now we can add our decal. So for the decal, I'm using an SVG that I created and members of my Patreon group, my elite fam, will get this file for free. So if you want to join the elite fam, I'll put a link down below in the description box or you can visit the link that is on your screen right now. We have a lot of fun in that group. So join the elite fam and get a lot of exclusive extra content and fun stuff from me. So for the offset for this decal, I'm using the colorful pearl vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I've cut the decal out at about four inches in height. I wanted to make it big enough so that it really fits within this area and covers up as much of the seam as possible, because remember, we still have the seam from our vinyl wrap on the top half of this part of the cup. So I'm going to place my offset trying to cover that up as much as possible. I'm also trying to make sure that it's within the middle of this half that we've kind of mapped out, even though the bottom half is really the only like half we have. Hopefully that makes sense. I just want everything to look centered. So once I've got that where I want it, I'm gonna lay down my transfer tape and then I'll peel away half of the backing of the decal, cut that away, then apply that half of the decal to the cup, then I'll apply the rest of the decal to the tumbler just to make sure everything stays exactly where I want it to be. For the top portion of our decal, we're gonna use that same rose gold texture metallic vinyl that we used for the striping. And I am going to add it as one full decal. I'm not gonna cut this up into little pieces. I've really been trying to just like be confident in applying decals to offsets. I know it sounds like the dumbest thing ever, but it's really like hard for me to do this because I want everything to be perfect and I hate cutting things twice. But luckily I was able to line this up and it went on great, so. I'm a little bit proud of myself, tapping myself on the back for that one. So once I've got this placed on the tumbler, I'm gonna remove my transfer tape and then we can move to the bottom of the cup and do just a really simple finish on the bottom. Now this tumbler is a 20 ounce skinny straight from Hog, So it's got a little bit of a well at the bottom for you to do like a semi glitter booty. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna take my UV resin and I'm gonna put a little bit of it into a medicine cup. You maybe need about like seven milliliters maybe. You definitely don't need any more than that. I probably used too much. I wanted to make sure I had enough, but you probably need between five and seven for this specific tumbler. So I'm gonna put that in my mixing cup and then I'm gonna take some glitter. I'm gonna use a fine cut teal here. I thought about using like a dark maroon, maybe a coral, but I really liked the teal that we used in the decal and there's a lot of tealy green tones in the vinyl. So I wanted to highlight those and go with those tones, but of course you can do any color you want down at the bottom of your cup. So once I had the glitter mixed into my UV resin, as you can see, I just poured a little bit of it into that bottom well of the tumbler, and now I'm letting gravity do the work. So I'm holding my cup, I'm kind of twirling it around so that the UV resin goes all around that area of the bottom and gives us a nice, even, smooth finish down there. I just wanna make sure that this is as even and clean as possible. And once I've got the epoxy looking like how I want it to, I'm gonna take my kitchen lighter really quick and just torch any bubbles and make sure everything looks really nice. And then I'll cure it under my UV lamp for probably about five-ish minutes. The UV lamp that I use is my favorite thing, you guys know. If you watch my channel, I use it all the time. So I will link that down below in the description box for you as well. Okay, so once our UV resin is cured, I'm gonna add a thin coat of my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy to my tumbler. This coat was about maybe 15 to 20 milliliters, and I'm gonna let that spin for just a couple minutes before I do a little bit of extra glitter on the tumbler. This step is totally optional. You don't have to do this, um, but I'm gonna take a little bit of my extra epoxy that I have left over and add a little bit of Venetian from Peachy Island Glitters into that epoxy. And then as you can see, I'm just going to put that right over my entire tumbler. I was looking at this thinking, should I do the glitter? Should I just leave it like not glittery? Should I just do a little bit? And then I was like, you know what? Venetian is one of my favorite colors. It always makes everything that I use it on look better. So I just decided to go for it and put it over the entire cup. 
maybe I used a little too much. I don't know. You can use your own judgment and decide for yourself how much you want to do, but I always do a lot of glitter and whatever. That's fine. So I'm going to put this glitter mixture all over the tumbler, just making sure we've got an even distribution of the glitter, making sure that it's all over the entire thing. And then I'm going to let this coat spin and cure for about maybe six to eight hours. And then I'll add a final coat of my Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy over the entire cup, of course, as my last coat. So this is a really super easy and quick tumbler design that you can do literally in one day because all of the vinyl work and everything is something you can do all in one step. You don't have to do a lot of coats of epoxy in between. So if you need a quick spring or really any theme tumbler design, this is a great one. So that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been thinking of the spring series. If you have any ideas for anything you'd like to see on my channel moving forward, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my brand new videos. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon for another Spring Vibes Tumblr series video. Okay, love you, bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Made by Manny and Mal. You can join my mentorship group at the website on your screen. I'd love to have you in the elite fam. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're here, here's another video for you to check out. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my channel members and my elite fam members. You guys make this channel possible. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.